slasher films are gross and stupid. <laughs> I don't think Friday the 13th, the film series, is really any good. And nobody leaves them alive. Friday the 13th, part three. We're here at Kyle and Dave versus uh, The Machine. Mm-hmm. This week we start our Oktoberfest, not a German beer festival, but Kyle's insistence on watching <laughs> crappy horror movies well. for four weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. Starting with Friday the 13th, part three. <laughs> That's right. So Kyle, uh, why did we do this? You have right to question me because this movie is terrible. <laughs> I am on record, and I know a lot of horror fans get mad at this, but I don't think Friday the 13th, the film series, is really any good. One exception. I mostly hate these films quite a bit. Of the three famous slasher films throughout the 70s and 80s, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th is not just dead last, it's like way down. I just don't like the Friday the 13th films. I just want to make sure I've alienated every single person who's clicked on this video. And I think within even the context of this film series this one is one of the worst it looks ugly because they were trying to make this 3d Ooh, look at this we learned that they had problems with the cameras it's not their fault but why do you make a movie where people do handstands and play with yo-yos takes forever for this film to like officially start because we have to watch 45 minutes of garbage first off no sorry the the whole ending of the first sorry of the second film then we have like the cold open with these two people that get killed off by jason again for no reason finally 16 minutes in after the title sequence we have the introduction to our film we learn about the and then shitty characters, for 45 yes. minutes nothing happens literally and just walking around even though i'm usually not a huge fan of slashers at least within that 20 minutes or so when stuff is happening there's some cool ideas sequences but the actors aren't good so bad it doesn't look good it looks it's like scored shit. poorly like everything about this i just really just dislike the only thing i know is that there was far worse entries into this franchise Coming later it's a miss for me i just i don't really like this movie even though i generally like horror films and there are certain slashes that i like Friday the 13th is not for me i learned that i've been wrong mischaracterizing the idea of horror with slasher films but i will stand on this ground that slasher films are fucking gross and (laughs) stupid and this movie proves my point because it is just an excuse to have women show their boobs and then everybody to die in the most gruesome visceral way possible it's the 80s so it's really just a bunch of watermelons and latex eyeballs popping out watermelons and latex is my fetish I learned that this is the birth of the iconic hockey mask. So apparently previously it was a burlap sack. Yes. I didn't know, spoiler alert, that Jason Voorhees wasn't even the villain in the first film. Whoa, spoiler alert. Yeah, I did a spoiler. spoiler. I I do think that it kind of was just randomly a hockey mask. It just so happened that the person who was in charge of 3D production. Oh, that's why I was just going to talk about that stupid little kid. This is the first film with that hockey mask in it. So I have to give it a certain amount of praise because of that. But the rest of this film is so disposable. Like, it's so just bad. bad. I'll give the credit to the climax of the film. You know, it does pick up its pace. Mm-hmm. So I didn't turn it off. It right. didn't million dollar duck. Quack. It finishes and you're like, okay, I can see why some people want to watch shit like this. It's like having a first date with me. The be- only last big criticism I'll throw at this because it really bugs me on any movie that does this, is like the varying levels of power that the mm, person has. Yeah. There are points where she's pushing him and punching him, and he's just falling over and like slapstick going downstairs. And other times he's literally crushing a man's head. Throwing a guy <laughs> through the window. And then he's like caught by a rolled up window because apparently he's not strong enough to break glass. Anyways, well, don't watch you, this movie. Final point, can you have sex in a string hammock? Is that a thing? I mean, don't you can do it, comment, folks. You can comment if you've like, done this yeah. before, but that might actually be the true horror. I'm going to have sex in the hammock. Ugh. That's our thoughts on Friday the 13th. And as we go forward, guess what? We're going to only do scary films. Spooky. So Kyle, what has the machine <laughs> put on the slate for us next? Well, we get to watch another uh, derided horror classic called Halloween 3 colon Season of the Witch. Oh man, that sounds scary. Cause, so uh, many witches in witches. this movie. Jason will come to you. 